The genetic cloning of an extinct dire wolf by a private biotech company has captured the attention of the nation, but the work of a Michigan tech scientist has played a big part in their ability to do it. My UP Skylar Perkins spoke with Dr. Kristen Bursky about how her team's research into red wolves and an unlikely breed of coyote and what that could mean for the future of the dire wolf. Earlier this week, Colossal Biotech revealed to the world what they called two dire wolves. They were created by scientists editing their genome to match the known DNA of the large carnivore that has been extinct for over 10,000 years. The dire wolf pups were named Remus and Romulus, and along with them, the company also announced they had produced red wolves. While not extinct, they're called the world's most endangered wolf by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, with little more than a dozen left in the wild. And that's the problem that Michigan Tech professor Kristen Bresky has been trying to solve for years. Trying to take a species on the brink of extinction and captively breed it and then bring it back into the wild and amazing successes. At the same time, the, you know, there's only 16 wild red wolves, right? And so there's these, these real inherent challenges. In particular, her research has been working to solve the problem of the genetic bottleneck, a severe shrinking of a species gene pool as a result of inbreeding and small numbers that can deal the final blow of extinction. For nearly the entire history of conservation efforts, it has been all but assumed that when that genetic diversity is lost, it's lost for good. But when Bresky and her colleagues received a photo of a weird coyote on an island in Texas, they started to wonder. We got these pictures from Ron Wooten on Galveston Island of this really interesting animal. It just looked, looked like a red wolf. And what they found was, for some reason, those coyotes were the only known canines still carrying on those long-lost red wolf genes. That is kind of how we got to where we are today, where we're discovering the ghost ancestry. With the ghost referring to the lingering elements of red wolf DNA. Bresky said the concept was first identified in 1998 through studying extinct museum specimens, but according to her, finding these ghost genes in living animals is a game changer. By working and trying to understand DNA progression, we can try to recover what was lost so that there's new genetic material. And if the concept can work for red wolves, it could also be used to rehabilitate other species, including the dire wolf. It's not some silver bullet that saves everything. It's a new tool that allows us to do better. Bresky said with this promising new finding and Colossal's major cloning breakthrough, this moment in time could be remembered as a pivotal one for conservation efforts around the world. In Marquette, I'm Skylar Perkins for My UP News.